Well, hello everyone. It's Candice with the Crafty Elegance YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I hope that by the end of the video, you will be inspired to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell for more crafty videos. If you're already a subscriber and a regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today's video is a project share for the Smash That Small Paper Pad collab hosted by Deb Hoke of Deb Hoke's Crafty Cottage. Each month on the 25th, myself, along with several other crafty YouTubers of this collaboration, will share the projects we've made using paper pads smaller than a 12 by 12. So for this month, I am using the six by six paper pad by Doodlebug Designs called Fairy Garden. I am also using the coordinating odds and ends along with the icon sticker sheet. To make my projects, I am using several stamps and dies from my stash, and I will showcase them with each of the projects. So for many of my projects today, I created several A2 size cards. The first is using some of the ephemera from the ephemera pack, and I created a scene with it using my cloud stencil die and some tumble glass distress oxide ink. I'm also using the sentiment from the Sugar Pea Designs Chunky Monkey stamp set, and I'm using the sentiment, I miss hanging out with you. I thought this sentiment paired really well with this card. I thought it was just so cute and so fitting. For this next card, I am also using some of the ephemera pieces. There were several flowers that were a part of this collection, so I combined them together to make this cute little bouquet. For the jar here, I am using the Lawn Fawn how you bean stamp and coordinating die set the sentiment that is on this card is also from the sugar pea designs chunky monkey stamp set and i'm using the sentiment that says thanks a bunch i just thought this was card was so cute and so simple the next card is a shaker card and this one is using um, a die set from tailored expressions it's called the Rolling Clouds die set. Looks like this. And the sentiment is from Lawn Fawn's Wavy Banner Sayings, Flying By. I just love the little um, lighting bugs or lightning bugs, you should say, in this card. And I just love this pattern paper. So cute. The next card is using more of the Taylor Expressions Rolling Clouds die. And it's also using the new Lawn Fawn Outside and Stitched Sun. So this makes this cute little adorable sun that can be a shaker. I have popped it up on some three millimeter foam. And the sentiment here comes from Julie Bean Soup, My Sunshine. The next card is another simple scene card. I'm using more of the ephemera pieces to create that scene, along with the um, My Favorite Things uh, cloud stencil. And the sentiment here comes from My Favorite Things as well. And that stamp set is called A Tweet Hello, and it's saying Happy Birthday. The next card isn't using any of my dies from, um, the, from my stash. It's just simply using a lot of the ephemera pieces from the collection and one of the doodle pops that I had in my stash. So cute, I think it just is so fitting to say wishing you well with the well um, ephemera piece. The next card is again using more of the ephemera pieces. I created like a little sun ray in the back with some distress ink. And then the sentiment here, follow your rainbow, comes from the um, My Favorite Things Rainbow Greeting stamp set. The next card is one of my favorites. This is using some dies from Lawn Fawn. So the ha uh, Magic Iris Birdhouse add-on is using for the birdhouse feature in this card, along with the stamp set that is called Magic Messages. And I'm using the Sending Big Hugs sentiment here. And for the background that provides this cute little stitched layer, it is coming from the Sunburst Backdrop die from Lawn Fawn. In the back of the card, I just added some Distress Ink and Mustard Seed to give that nice little glow. 
The next card also uses more of the ephemera pieces. I am just using some dies from my stash. And the sentiment here comes from the Hero Art stamp set that is called uh, Sending Love Mail. And the last card that I made for today is um, using more of the ephemera pieces. I've just popped that up on some foam. And the sentiment is also from that Hero Art stamp set. In addition to the A2 size cards, I also made some slimline cards. So here's the first slimline card. Just love the ephemera pieces of the um, Little Mushroom House. And to create this card, I used several dies from Lawn Fawn. So the first one is the large slimline die with sliders. That's what this die looks like. And then I paired it with the Lawn Fawn Slimline Stitch Hillside. So to create this nice little grassy scene in the back. And then of course I used my um, cloud stencil from MFT to create the scene and then just added some clear sequins on there. The sentiment comes from MFT and it's from the No Place Like Home stamp set. The next slimline card is also using ephemera pieces and it's a create a, a scene as well. And the sentiment here comes from the Alta New Sentiment Strips 2 and I'm using um, Have a Super Day. And the final slimline card is also using more of the ephemera pieces. I've just combined the little fairies from the collection along with the uh, rainbows and clouds and created this cute little um, vertical scene here. And then I also use some Wink of Stella to give it some of that shimmer and shine. And the sentiment is also coming from the Alta New uh, Sentiment Strips 2. Also with this collection, I have created some tags. So here are what the tags look like. I'm using some of the um, doodle pops from the collection and I created this using some of the 12 by 12 paper and some of the 6 by 6 pattern paper. And the sentiment here comes from the stamp market. It's called Tons of Type. I just love the little small font of that stamp set and it fits really good on tags. Here's another tag that I created and it's also using a sentiment from the stamp market. And here I'm using some of the Doodle Pops along with the um, icon stickers. Here's one more. Cute little scene. And my absolute favorite tag out of the collection. And this is using that Mushroom House Doodle Pop. It's very layered and dimensional. I'm also using some of the stickers from the sticker sheet and some of the ephemera pieces as well. In addition to the tags and the cards, I also created several embellishments with this collection. I do have a video on my channel um, explaining more with the embellishments that I created. But the first set here, these were some shaker coffee cups. The coffee cup die from, comes from KS Craft. Um, you can purchase that from either AliExpress or also on Amazon. And then I'm using some of the ephemera pieces from the pack. And this sentiment here comes from Honey Bee Stamps. Here's another shaker coffee cup. And the shaker um, pieces do come from Queen & Co. And this sentiment here is from Hero Arts. And here's another shaker one. This one has the coordinating spoon that comes in the, in the die set. And the coffee word die is from Honeybee Stamps. And lastly, my favorite one is the B, also using a sentiment from Honeybee Stamps. And the wavy banner here is from Lawn Fawn. Also with the um, embellishments, I created a couple of memory decks cards. So here is the first one, using more of the ephemera pieces. And this sentiment, um, comes from Tailored Expressions. 
The dye that I use for my memory dexes are from Heidi Swap. It's her memory dex dyes. Um, I bought both sets. So that's what I use for my memory dex cards. And here is another one. Again, using that thanks a bunch from Sugar Pea Designs and some stickers from the Icon sticker sheet. And the last um, memory dex card is a more shaped memory dex card. I just love the little mushroom house. I got this uh, SVG file from the Lori Whitlock store and I just created it and layered it a couple of times. So cute. So let's do a recap of all the projects that I made using the Doodlebug Designs 6x6 Fairy Garden Paper Pad and coordinating odds and ends and sticker sheet. I made a total of 10 A2 size cards along with three slimline cards, three memory decks cards, four layered tags, and several embellishments. I had a lot of fun playing with this collection and creating all of these projects. I just love being able to use my stash of dies and stamps and coordinating them with collections. Make sure that you stop by all of the collaborators' videos. I have a link to all of the participants and their channels below. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and let me know which project was your favorite. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.